Hi, I'm Charles with Clive Coffee. Today I'll be showing you how to set up your new Compaq E5 espresso grinder. Let's get started. Step one, out of the box and onto the counter. Remove the grinder from its packaging and place it on a solid level surface. Inspect the grinder for any damage, and if you notice any, contact us immediately. Now, insert the hopper and tighten this hopper fastening knob to hold it in place. Plug in the grinder and turn it on. Step two, feeling the coffee. If you received our exclusive grinder dial-in service, you can skip this step. Drop some beans into the hopper and grind them into your hand. When you feel the grounds, they should feel almost like table salt. Not quite as fine as powdered sugar, but not as coarse as sand. The numbers on the collar indicate relative adjustments, with higher numbers signifying coarser settings and lower numbers signifying finer ones. This means you adjust the collar counterclockwise to adjust finer and clockwise to adjust coarser. This is different from most grinders. Step three, dialing the dose. Now that the grind is in the ballpark, we can start pulling shots. First, grab a scale and tear the weight of the portafilter. Since we're using time dosing, now would be the time to fill your hopper. With the portafilter in the portafilter holder, simply touch and hold the grind button on the face of the grinder. When your basket looks about full, release the button. Now, weigh your portafilter. Add or remove grounds as necessary to get to 20 grams if you're using a triple basket, or 18 grams if you're using a double. We're using a triple, and I got just under 20 grams here, so I'm gonna go back for a little more. Step four, adjustments, shot time. Grip the tamper handle as though you were grasping a doorknob. Tamp straight down and simply lean your weight into it comfortably. The amount of pressure you apply isn't nearly as important as making sure that the tamp is perfectly level in the basket. This way the water won't find weak spots. I like to check around the edge here to make sure that it's nice and level. Insert your portafilter and start the shot. We're going to be watching for the first drops of espresso to fall between six and 10 seconds. As the shot progresses, we'll observe the total shot time. Our target output is 1.5 ounces or 30 grams of liquid espresso in 25 to 30 seconds. If your shot pulls in under 25 seconds, you'll wanna adjust a bit finer if it pulls over 30 seconds, you want to adjust a bit coarser. This shot pulled in about 21 seconds, so I'm going to adjust a little bit finer. It's best to make small adjustments of just a few notches at a time. This will be easier than making big changes and overcorrecting. Step five, timed dosing. Now that we have our grind dialed in, we can set up the timer for consistent and repeatable dosing. With the hopper filled, press the dose button you'd like to edit, followed in quick succession by the menu button. Now we can press the plus and minus buttons to change the grind time for that dose. Let's change it to eight seconds. Tear the portafilter, grind, and weigh the portafilter again. If the dose is too small, increase the time setting by a few tenths of a second. If it's too much, decrease it. If this video helped you set up your new grinder, be sure to hit the like button. If it didn't, or if you have any questions, be sure to let us know in the comments below. For more coffee knowledge, don't forget to hit subscribe.